Good morning guys, Anjani Kumar here, dealing power system 2 for third year electrical students. In the last session, we started uh, unit 5, so that is uh, SAG and uh, tension calculations in overhead transmission system, right? So what is the title? So that is unit 5. Unit 5. Right, right, it is sag and tension calculations, right? In overhead lines, overhead lines means overhead transmission system, right? In the last session, we started. Uh, what are the chapters and what are the contents that we are going to discuss in this uh, unit 5? Why? Because uh, whatever the units uh, that that's are very easily understandable, th those units we are going to discuss here through online classes. Because that the, those type of units are very easily understandable for you guys. So that's why I'm taking, I started unit 2, so regarding overhead transmission lines. And after that, I started unit 5. So it's very, very, unit 5 or 6, I don't know actually. I think it's a unit 6, I think. So that's a unit 6. Uh, uh, sag and tension calculation. This is very, very easy and uh, very, very important. Important. Uh, definitely you'll get a question from this uh, unit. Right? In the last session, we discussed what are the contents and all these things. Now we started the first, con so first concept. So main components in overhead transmission line. So main components in overhead transmission line. Right? You know that uh, each and every transmission line which is used to transfer the electrical power. It can be from sending in to receiving it or it can be distribute the electrical power. Right? The successful operation of a transmission system depends on the design consideration, right? I thought the design of a transmission line is a much uh, criteria while erecting the transmission system. That means you have to uh, maintain the mechanical strength in order to do weather in order to uh, suitable for a weather conditions, right? You need to maintain a mechanical strength of a transmission system. Then only you can transfer the power. If a conductor is getting a little bit, what about the transmission? There is no transmission. So you have to design definitely very much good designs uh, while erecting this type of a transmission system. So we have different components uh, which are existing in a transmission lines, so transmission system. So the first one is a. So we don't have that much concept of this one. And then we have we will study briefly after that we'll enter into the sag and tension calculations right so the first concept first component is a conductor i'll write all the components and i'll explain each and everything one by one next after that supporters and the third one is insulator And a fourth one is cross arm. You will see all these things in your real life. Uh, while see the transmission lines, you will get uh, all the con all the things uh, you will easily see. And the fifth one is miscellaneous item. You don't know. We'll see what are the items. Different different items. You don't have any separate concept for this. So what are the main components in overhead transmission lines? So what is a conductor, supporters, insulators, cross arm, and miscellaneous items. Right? So what is a conductor? You know that uh, the conductor which transfer the electrical power, right? From sending end to receiving end. That means it can carry carry the electrical power. Right? From sending and to the receiving end. Right? 
so what is a supporters supporters is nothing but pole or towers right which can make a height of the transmission system transmission line should be very much somewhat high because of the safety consideration so right supporters are nothing but poles and poles are towers so these are the supporters we'll see the transmission tower is there now that is nothing but supporters so between these two transmission supporters we will we will connect the transmission line right the transmission line can be withstand between the two supporters so those are nothing but poles and towers it will make uh, the transmission line height uh, it will suitable height it will it, it should make the tra transmission line in a prescribed height and matter so what is the insulators right so these insulators which are attached to the supporters the supporters ke attach is from so to provide insulation between the conductor and the ground we'll discuss insulator concept in this following session in detail but you have to know the definition you will see that uh, that insulators uh, in each and every transmission system like you uh, know pin type insulator shock insulator suspension insulator so these type of insulator will make uh, will provide proper insulation between the conductor and the earth all right so that means it is attached to the to the supporters and provide insulation between conductor and earth so provide uh, provide proper insulation between the conductor and earth now what is a cross arm so cross arm which is support to the insulators so insulator ki supporters untai cross arm and it supports the insulator right this cross arm will support to the insulators all right so what is a conductor conductor which can carry the electrical power from sending and to receiving end or for a transmission purpose or a distribution purpose right what are the supporters supporters are nothing but uh, poles or towers right the transmission line exists uh, between these two supporters or uh, poles that means in order to provide a ground clearance so what is a ground clearance and all these things were discussed so the transmission line should be somewhat height because of the safety factor all right so what is the insulator insulator which is attached to the supporters supporters to provide a insulation between the conductor and the earth all right so what is a cross arm cross arm which supports the insulator right we'll see all these things one by one in a clearer diagram itself okay and what are the miscellaneous items so, so miscellaneous items you know the protective devices the lightning arresters is there right so phase plates is there how much phase how much voltage that is uh, traveling in the transmission system there is a phase plate is there all right a dangerous plate is there this plate is a dangerous plate we'll see if there are any cross voltages uh, it in the transmission line if it carry the cross said voltage definitely the danger place will helpful to tell uh, that uh, voltage should be very higher uh, with that we can make uh, some precautions also we can make uh, some suitable precautions for this all right so these are the main components that uh, we are having in a transmission system so what are the main components uh, conductors supporters insulators cross arms and some miscellaneous items i'll draw the diagram itself so with that you can clearly understand right i will see the diagram from this you can clearly understand i am not that much good at uh, drawing so you should take care of this one
single phase or else if you have a three phase right so this is a transmission system look like you yes, see right now we will configure what are the parts so this we can call it as a conductor so which can carry the electrical power right so this we can call it as a conductor which can carry the electrical power right so this we can call it as a supporters right supporters which are also called as a pole or towers so it will make uh, the transmission line higher so in order to provide a ground clearance we see ground clearance and all these things okay so this is called a cross arm right which supports the insulator so this is called insulator right so these are the parts we discuss a lightning arrestor dangerous speeds we will we'll, we'll get here but uh, we don't want to represent this uh, they'll get in a, a distribution substation itself we will clearly see these type of uh, things miscellaneous items right so these are the things uh, these are this is a structure of a basic uh, transmission system which is having a conductor cross arm insulators and supporters right you know that the conductor means it can trans carry the electrical power from the from one one to another that means sending and to receiving and in, in in place of transmission and distribution right and depends on a line length if it is high that is a long transmission line if it is a medium medium transmission line right you know the conductors the conductors are made up of uh, copper aluminum right so the conductors are made up of copper aluminum right galvanized steel cadmium copper right basically we are using aluminum only nowadays uh, right so the conductors are made up of uh, copper aluminum galvanized steel and cadmium copper all right and there are different types of supporters uh, or there depends on the length of the transmission system right each and every conductor supporters that it has some uh, some design considerations also right we don't have that much concept on this uh, right i just want to briefly explain what is a conductor conductor it can carry the electrical power from the sending end to the receiving end and these type of conductors that are uh, made with copper aluminum galvanized steel and all these things yeah, right each and every conductor that it has some oh, design consideration that means what are the design considerations if you see that uh, uh, this conductor which is having high mechanical strength right our design considerations is going to high electrical conductivity we don't have that much syllabus on that electrical conductivity that means low cost high tensile strength high tension right so these are the mechanical considerations uh, while erecting the while erecting the conductor right so in the similar manner we have the supporters also different different types of supporters are there so each and every supporters also we have uh, some design considerations so what are the design consideration so high mechanical strength right mechanical strength should be very high right light weight is there after that uh, longer life right cheaper so these are the mechanic this design consideration of the supporters so these are there are different supporters are there so what are the difference of depends on the um, the voltage depends on the distance that in the olden days uh, we used a wooden wooden supporters right so we don't have that much concept just i just want to explain wooden supporters means very small distance that means uh, 50 kilometers distance only 
not 50 kilometers, 50 meters distance because very small distance you use uh, wooden supporters. So definitely these are um, non-electrical quantity. It, it won't carry the current. No? That's why you are using these type of uh, supporters in wood entities. All right. After that, uh, you are having a steel poles. Steel poles. All right. In mid 2020, also we are we used these type of poles. So it can carry the it it can be used for uh, 150 meters length. Right, steel poles. And after that, uh, third one is RCC poles. Right, a reinforced concrete poles. Concrete poles is there now. So these type of poles now in now nowadays we are using these type of concrete poles so for a 33 kb transmission system. Right, for a higher voltages we have steel towers is there steel towers for higher voltages that means 66 kV 132 kV transmission for a 66 kV 130 132 kV transmission system now we are using the steel towers so these are the different categories of a supporters that uh, we are having so what are the mechanical what is the design consideration it should be high mechanical strength light weight undali Cost the kuga undali, longer life undali. So for these type of supporters, so there are different types of supporters is there. The first one is a wooden supporters. That means those are used in, for old days in, in 90s, you know, 90th, 19th century. We used these type of wooden supporters so for a small distance. So distance would be 50 meters length. And after that, uh, steel supporters, right? And mid 20. In 20th century, we used these type of steel. Nowadays, we are also having these type of steel supporter um, in secondary distribution, right? And our street uh, lines and all these things. We have these type of supporters, right? After that, uh, RCC, rain, reinforced concrete poles. That means concrete poles also are we are using nowadays uh, for a distribution side, like you know, 33 kV transmission. We are using these type of RCC poles. For higher voltages like 60 CKV high tension cables, 66 KV, 132 KV, we are using steel towers. We'll see the steel towers, uh, the power grid is there, and here our call is uh, the transmission for high tension cables, right? Steel towers is there, na? so these type of uh, towers are. We'll see, right? Now <coughs> we enter into the concept, right? We enter into the concept. So what is a sack? Definition of a sack, tension and all these things we discussed. These are the basic things uh, in order to understand uh, what is a mechanical design, what is a consideration of the uh, every transmission system. Right. Now we'll see is first we'll discuss some definitions. After that we'll go, we'll compare with the real life examples also. Right. The first we, we know the, we should know the definition of span. First, we'll see the definitions. What is a sag? What is a span? What is a tension? And all these things. After that, we'll enter into the subject, right? So what is a span? See my my camera got some problems, right? So what is a span? Span is nothing but the distance between the towers. Distance between the towers, so we can call it as a span. That means you have uh, two towers is there now that can carry the transmission system, right? So this is a transmission line, now. So this distance we can call it as a span. Alright. For a low tension cable, so the span will be 40, 45 to 60 meters. For high tension cable, so this should be uh, 65 to 80 meters. Low tension means low voltage cable. High tension means high voltage cable. Tension is nothing but force or pressure. Alright. Stress. Alright. 
So what is a spam? A spam is nothing but the distance between the two towers. Distance between the towers we can call it as a spam. Alright, now we will discuss about ground clearance. Right. So what is a ground clearance? Right. But suppose if it is a transmission line, transmission tower, so this is a transmission line. So the distance between the lowest point and the lowest point and the transmission line to the ground we can call it as a ground clearance but suppose the transmission line the transmission line somewhat wongi so this is the lowest point na so this is called ground clearance from the ground it is high ground so ground clearance high ground and go safety echo ground so that's what uh, we are using towers to make the transmission line very much uh, height right so ground clearance means the distance between the the distance between lowest point lowest point on the transmission transmission line to ground so we can call it as a ground clearance so this is called ground clearance so this is called a ground clearance now what is a sack right so what is a sack right so manam chinna punji chustam untam the transmission line that can be placed between the between the two towers right right eppudu transmission line somewhat karu shape lone untayi eppudaina gamaninchara ledha meeru eppudu transmission system karu shape lone untadi straight ga ekkudu undadu so enduku nenu chadukunna tappudu kuda chaala saralu chusam but i don't have a reason that time so after I enter into the, my technical education, I got a clear function, clear idea. So how the transmission lines are placed like a curve shape between the two, two, trans, two towers. Right? So first see the definition of a SAG. After that, uh, we will discuss what is a SAG and all these things. So that means, a SAG means, it is the distance between the top of the supporters to the to the lowest point lowest point in the transmission line so it is the distance between the top of the supporters to the lowest point in the conductor so this this is the top of the uh, top of the supporters now so this is this distance so we can call it as a sag so this is the top of the supporters and this is the lowest point so this we can call it as a sag right so what is a sag sag is nothing but so the distance between between the top of the supporters to the lowest point of the conductor so we can call it as a So what is meant by SAG? SAG is nothing but uh, the distance between the top of the supporters to the lowest point in the conductor. So we can call it as a SAG. Alright. You know that SAG in the Kumanamite we will see. Alright. So the transmission line you have to put between the two towers, right? So between the two towers. So there are two ways. The first way you have to stretch you have to make the transmission line like this and another way is curve shape like this this is the first way and this is the second way so what is the so first one is we'll see one by one if what is advantages and disadvantages of a first condition and what is advantages and disadvantages of a second way of conditions the first tightly Right? Then tight ka fit chesa. 
right so what are the advantages right the conductor save out of the conductor material save out of the right so conductor material ela untadi save out of the next right next em untadi so okay tight ga lagavu tight ga lagina appudu what about the tension tension should be very high so tension is nothing but uh, force per suppose ikkada oka person unnadu right another person is there right oka taadu iskon laagta unnadu right laagta unnadu ee person yokka force will be in this way and this person will force will be in this way right so this force to move like uh, to to move move this force we can call it as a tension tension is nothing but stress pressure how much pressure on the person to move this body to move this line for other words so this is called a tension tension is nothing but force if you are tightly tightly lage anko lag getti ga lage anko what happen the tension will be there na tension should be very high so right this will make the system break down right we'll see how it will happen right these two tensions are very high means ee rendu persons getti ga lagta unnaru anko definitely there will be a break point so that is one of the drawback we'll see right after that height height will be less because you have a maximum clearance ground clearance is there inka height pettalsina avasaram ledhu tight ga laage anko ground clearance ekku ga untadi so height ni reduce chesukochu no problem inka height pettalsina avasaram ledhu when compared to the loosely connection right and if you connect uh, like loose can loose type of connection what are the advantages and disadvantages loose ga core connect chesa it, it like like uh, like this way like so what is the desert so conductor material ela untadi heavy ga untadi heavy ga untadi so conductor material anedi chaala ekku ga untadi and the second one is second one is ground clearance ela untadi taggi potadu da when compared to the tightly connection ikkada ground clearance entu untadi ikkada untadi entu untadi it is very less nenu em cheyala tower ni increase cheyala so height ni kuda increase cheyali height should be increase idi kuda cost tho kurukuna bani but what about the tension so the tension is very less the tension is very less that we don't have a, that much force uh, between the two conductors there is no question of a breakdown right there is no question of a breakdown so that is our aim to maintain so whatever what is the distance between this height of the towers and the lowest point we can call it as a sac right so manam design manam design consideration chese tappudu you have to take these two with that you have to make a better thing so what is that better thing conductor material save ya save avvala tension takkuva undala right height takkuga undala so ee rendittini club chesi particular sag unde danni manam you have to take particular sag value sag value must be within the limits so that is our target so you have to consider both the conditions but you should maintain the sag so that's why the conductor materials need tight ga connect cheyaru somewhat the sag that is a prescribed limits lo consider chesar or else meer tight ga connect chesar ankonde tight ga connect chesga tight ga connect chesar right so ee motodi oka poles anevi ongi podam jaragatha untadi oka pole itu podamu oka pole atu podamu ala jaragatha untadi definitely there will be a drawback na or else uh, in a sunny season that means hot season what happen aluminum your conductor will be expand right for that heat your conductor will start expand if you if it is tightly connected what happen the conductor breakdown will be there right all these things we should consider so with that uh, i'm completed this session in the next session we will discuss the remaining um, sag what are the factors that we need to consider in a sag uh, what are the factors affecting your sag uh, what is the tension in the sag and what is the relationship and all these things we'll discuss in the next session thank you very much